Okay, we're going to show uh, how to remove the uh, grip safety. The other thing we're going to show here is how to take out the auto takedown system. Um, we're going to pull out all, all of our sear assembly <coughs> for the XDM. So we get rid of our sear springs, takedown lever. And you'll notice there's a there's a, a little lever in here. I'll show you how that works when I get it out. Um, we're going to go ahead and take apart the whole assembly to take out just the the uh, auto takedown stuff. You just want to, to tap it until you've moved it far enough, which generally if you move it out till it hits the table you're going to be close so that you can remove these two pieces in here. There's a spring and a lever. And we'll just push it the last little bit and you can see your I use a nice shiny spring uh, pin punch so that I can uh, see it when I'm working on stuff. You'll see there's a spring in here. It has a short leg and a tall leg. The short leg goes against the frame, the tall leg goes up into this little area there. You can zoom in on that, Kyle. So, short leg to the rear, tall leg to the front. Just like that. So if you've actually taken it out or did it on purpose, you can know. And then in the gun, the little hook's going to go to the back. The hook that goes up, the catches on the striker safety lever moves in like that. That's how it works. So if you if you were just dis just disabling the auto takedown for the XDM, that's what you would do. You'd push the pin back in until you hear it click. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, take it all the way out so that people can see what they'll need to do to replace the grip safety or the spring should it break. Um, or if you just want to take it all down to refinish the frame or something like that. So now that we have the grip safety, whether you're using the stock one or our replacement grip safety, um, you'll want to orient the, uh, the grip safety the way that you would have it in the gun. You're going to notice on the spring there's this little tail here. That's going to push up against the uh, safety. This leg, when you insert it, it's going to push up against the frame. So we're just going to put it in nice and easy until it lines up and it can hold in there. And then we're going to take the frame, lift it up, we're going to take our 1 16th inch punch and push it all the way through. That way it holds it in place while we get the, uh, the pin ready. The pin has a little groove. Again, we're going to orient that so it's going to be on the left side. Um, we're going to go ahead and push it in here. <clears throat> Line up the uh, the frame as you go. It's going to go into the spring and here's the only real tricky part. Remember that little leg? We're going to actually have to pry that over the pin so that we don't damage it when we're putting the uh, pin back in. So I've, I've lifted it up. <clears throat> I've lifted it up. Now we're going to tap it back in until it just, just uh, you hear this little snap. I don't know if that, that picked it up. And then we're going to just verify that it's in the center there. Um, if it's not in the center, it can cause the, the grip safety to bind. And that's reinstallation of the grip safety.